I've been 30 years with the British Army. That's been 30 years of photographing Her Majesty and her family. Uh, the Royal Family have obviously been deeply embedded with the British Army over that time, and it's been an absolute honour uh, to be part of Her Majesty's journey with the British Army for such a long time. I think my highlight would have to be uh, 2007 when she received the Royal Regiment of Scotland brooch. I, I was asked to photograph her personally on a one-to-one -one at Balmoral Castle. I, it was something I had a lot of time to prepare for, but it still didn't make the, uh, uh, the task any easier. Uh, and I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. It was fantastic. Uh, I look back now and I think what an honour and what a privilege it was uh, to have that opportunity to, to be on a one-to-one -one with Her Majesty in that setting. Strangely, I didn't think that I would be able to interact with her, but she actually wanted to see the picture, and so she came over. It wasn't the days of digital, so she came over uh, to, to my side and, and, and wanted to see the picture on the back of the camera, uh, and exclaimed, oh, that was lovely, before, uh, before leaving the room. Uh, it was quite a special moment. She obviously loved Scotland and she loved the British Army. The British Army loved her. Uh, the British Army has a lot of our uh, of mascots uh, uh, and they recently gathered at Edinburgh Castle because uh, the mascot handlers wanted to present Her Majesty the Queen with a, a gift of a photograph of all of her mascots. Uh, she's obviously very fond of horses and there was a few horses in the picture. Uh, and I was part of, a, of a videoing that uh, to show the British Army's appreciation to Her Majesty uh, and that was presented to her at Balmoral Castle uh, in August. I can only speak for myself in this, but she was always smiling, she was always happy in her work whenever she was in front of my camera. I, I think the testament is the fact that the whole of Princess Street stopped uh, and 10 seconds after the last gun had fired, when the crowd realised there was no more guns to fire, Edinburgh erupted into a round of applause. A very special moment, something in my 30 years I have never experienced before.